you know, I've been working since I was 16. I was a server, buzzer, you name it. I did pretty much every job type. I am not gonna lie. I am over it. I'm over this nine to five bullshit. So here in Miami, I've only worked two jobs. Um, my first job I got fired from because of stuff. Regardless, you know, I got a new job now. But you know, my last job, I'm not gonna lie, it was better in pay. Now it is because my new job, they have decided to reduce not only my pay, but also my hours. Every week I'm nervous because, you know, I gotta get enough hours to pay bills. Like, I got to keep this place. I gotta get the fucking lights on. Ow. And not only that, bro, I work in the fast food industry you now. You know, my last job, you know, I was a manager. I owned the store in a title way. But, you know, I went from that to working at fast food. And let me tell you one thing, bro. Fast food, bro, it's been very shitty, you know? I don't know why, but when you're working fast food, it's like people just think that you're less than human. I don't know where that comes from. Like, bro, just because I work here don't mean anything. Like, and it's not even adults. Somebody could be younger than you, bro. Little ass fucking kids in high school, fucking middle school coming up, act like they can just talk to me any kind of way. Yo, give me that. Yo, watch your fucking tone, bro. Like, just because I work here don't mean I won't put the paws on you, though. Okay, I'm not a fighter. Let me chill out. Let me chill out. You just get no respect. And not even just from customers. It's just like the managers, too. Like, if you're not in management or you're not in clicks or you're not trying to fit in with the crowd or you're not talking and, I don't know, just doing the, the work culture thing, you're just the outcast. They just treat you like shit. They just put work on you and you're just, you're the workhorse. And, you know, it's kind of my fault because, you know, I'm a very quiet individual, but I also work my ass off. So that's kind of like, well, if he's not going to talk to us, put him to work. So it's my fault. I'm not even like, mad at it. But it's just like, this is the, what 9 to 5 culture is. I don't want to be a part of this. Like, this this, this is not oh, this is not fun. Like, how do, how do people do this for the rest of their lives? I could not imagine doing this shit until I was 60. 65. Like, how do, how, how? You know, I used to think that, you know, 9 to 5s and jobs in general were very like sustainable, like you have stability in it, but different experiences, I realized that shit is not sustainable at all. Like bro, the amount of times, and I've been pulled to the back, yo, I'm sorry, but you know, it's looking slow and we're gonna have to reduce your pay. I was told I was gonna get paid this, you know, I signed the contract, you okay? This is what you agreed upon. And then you're telling me, not even like two or three months later, you're gonna pull me to the back and say, yo, Ty, I'm sorry, but um, we're gonna change our pay structure and we're gonna reduce your pay. What? And hours, sorry. But come in with a smile. Where's your smile? Smile. Are you happy? Why aren't you happy? Be happy. Be happy. You just fucked me. What is that to be happy about? Why do people subject themselves to, see now I'm really getting into it. Why do people subject themselves to that type of treatment? That is, that's literally just modern day slavery. Like you have to pretend to be happy in this person and just work. That's not like slavery. I don't know how people just do this. Like, I hate this. The day I started working, bro, I fucking hated it. I hated it. And I needed a job because I've always just been the type of person where I, I like to have things. I don't want to just have nothing. Like, as you can see, I got clothes in the back. You know, I got my map. I, I have things. I like to enjoy life. I ran into this dilemma. I heard this on YouTube, some like motivational speaker, but he was saying that we, we go to work to pay for things Wait, how do you, wait, wait, that's not, wait, wait, wait a minute, how do you say it? We go to a job we hate to pay for things just to impress the people we don't even like. And that shit hit me, I was like, wait a minute. You're telling me I'm, I, I'm actively going to this job that I hate just so I can keep this car, just to impress that guy over there. And in that moment, I realized I don't, that's not what I'm gonna do. Like, of course, I got the apartment now, but I got this because of me. Like, I've always wanted to live somewhere like, I've always wanted to live somewhere like this since I could remember. Like, I was like 12, thinking, yo, I want to be in the city. I got to be in the city. This is where it happens. Everything get litty in the city. I got to be there. And now that I'm here, I'm happy. But I know so many people work jobs they hate just to impress other people, and I don't get that. I don't get that. It just makes me so upset that, you know, I have to pretend to be, like okay, like at work. Like, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm like sad or anything, cause I'm not, I'm not, like I'm fine, I'm fine as an individual. Like, why do we have to pretend like we wanna be here? Like, guys, do we, do we, are, are, 
am I mi- am I missing am I missing the point? Like, is somebody gonna come out like behind the camera and say, "Oh, it's the joke the whole time"? We all love the nine to five, actually. Like, what's going on? Because I don't like that shit. Like, why is everybody coming in and happy? Oh my god, making jokes. That's like that's what kills me. Like, how are you guys talking about nothing? Talking about TikTok, talking about jokes, talking about this movie, talking about this trend. Who the f- f cares? Like nobody's really ambitious at nine to five. That's what really. That's what I. That's why I hate it really the most because to get anything in life, it's really about who you know. And the fact that I'm at a nine to five and nobody wants to do anything there. Like nine times out of ten, nobody either. They want to do it and they haven't even started. So it's like okay, or they're just doing nothing and just I guess enjoying life, which is not bad. But it's like for me, I'm trying to grow as an individual. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to get out of this. I don't want to be here the rest of my life, guys. Look at Miami; it's a beautiful city. Look at this. Look at the city. I'm sh- I want to be out free, not waking up at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. I had to do that. That's. God, I used to wake up at 4 a.m., 4 a.m. Just free to do what I please, not having to listen to nobody. Nobody texts my phone. Tell where you at. Not brushing me, not telling me, oh, okay, I'm going to change these rules. This is what's going to happen now. Literally, bro, it's so bad. We're, they're about to ban jackets. They're going to ban jackets. The, the, the place I work, we have to wear name tags. And apparently, I guess people, some people don't wear them or they forget to wear them or there's an under the jacket. I don't know. But I get a text in the fucking little group chat thing saying, yo, you guys, if you don't wear your name tag one more time, one more, one more instance of this happening, we're going to ban jackets. What? It'd be colder than a mug in there. What are you talking about, band jackets? What do you mean, band jackets? I bought this jacket. This jacket was $40. You're going to give me a $40 back? This is this is the company jacket that I bought from you. What do you mean, band jackets? Where are we going? Uh, <laughs> what? Like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, band jacket. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't. How do people do this? How do you read that message? Yo, guys, if you don't wear your name tag, I wear my name tag all the time. It's not me. It's not me. It's not even you. Some some random person just, that don't give a fuck. Yeah, if you don't do this, we're going to ban jackets. Nigga, I'll be cold as... What do you mean, ban... You just got to accept that. Yep, we're banning it. Sorry, don't wear it. Like, how do people just read that and not go, holy cow, I have no control of my life. If I want to do this, I got to go ask. You got to go ask to use the bathroom? Like, what? What? Like what? Yo, can I go? Can I go relieve myself? Like, no, yeah, actually, not right now. This is a joke. Like, this is crazy. People are doing this currently. People are have been doing this. People will continue to do this, but it would not be me. I refuse the nine to five life. I refuse it. I am such a detached person. Like the amount of gossip and just noise people do like do in the nine to five is just. I just don't associate with that. That's why I don't talk to nobody. Like people, I just hear the chitter chatter, just, oh, this, this, and this, and did you hear about this? Oh my God, I can't, like, I don't care. I don't care. I'm worrying about me. How am I gonna get free? I don't wanna be here anymore. Like, do people not understand that? Like, it's 2024, people, people, I'm sorry, I'm stuttering. It's 22, I can't even, okay, slow down. It is 2024, people. Inflation's going up. Cost of living is going up. Wages are going down. World War Three is around the corner. We don't know what's happening there. I mean, like, I look crazy right now, but that's that's, that, that's the state we're in right now, people. I, it's not looking good. Are we are 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 we still gonna continue to talk about TikTok and like the Island Boys? What? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? If you're watching this right now. Wherever you're at, do you really want to continue to just waste your life, your, your life, working, doing something you don't want to, like, that's what, that's what I think about. I'm currently wasting my precious seconds, time, hours, days, out, like, years, working a job, working for somebody else. I'm giving my life the most precious thing on this planet money can't buy it time life essence i'm giving that away at this corporation this building this this draining place like why am i doing this and i'm wait like i just 
I don't know. I don't know if other people just don't get it, or if I had a realization. I don't know, but I realize every every second that I'm not doing the things that I want to do is a second that I'm never getting back. And I don't want to be here taking orders, here flipping fries, putting the fries in a bag, bro. I don't want to be doing that. I want to do what I want to do, cause I only get one life to live. I can't go back to 16. My 16s, my my teen years, they happened. They're never coming back. Now imagine. Whatever age you're at, your 20s, 30s, 40s, that time period. Now imagine you like 10, 15 years in the future. You're never getting this time of your life back. What do you want to do with it? What do you want to look back and think, oh, I did that? Do you want to be thinking, oh, I was at the job and I was there at 4 a.m. every day for 10 hours a week? No, not a week, 10 hours a day, 60 hours a week. Do you want to do I don't want that. I don't want that. But I guess I'm just the only one that thinks this way. There is going to be a great shift soon there's gonna be the people that are happy that have money have abundance have more not more than they need but they're okay they're good and then on the flip side it's gonna be the people that don't have enough just sad struggling you know and just it's gonna be so so bad so sad like I don't see the world getting happier. Like, that's why. That's why I'm trying to promote peace and try to spread, you know, just joy. Because I just I see the world. I see the trend is going. It's so sad. Like everybody's talking about like this video. Like people talking about nine to five sucking. People talking about wages are being bad. War. This that. Just evil. Just bad. Just darkness. And I think it's gonna get even worse. Inflation. What are we gonna do? And like, I just have so much faith in myself and just faith in just the universe and God and just energy. I just, I think I'm gonna be okay. I know I'm gonna be okay. But for everybody else, I see that just, they're at work, not prioritizing their own selves. Like, why are you giving your life to this man that doesn't care about you? He can smile on your face. He can say, oh my God, have a great, beautiful, fantastic day. He can do all of that. Skip and dance, do the hopping, whatever. But at the end of the day, if you mess his money up, goodbye, you're out. He don't care. And he'll look at you with a stone, stone cold face. You're fired. So I understand. I'm gonna prioritize me. I don't care. You can hate me, people. It is what it is. I'm over this nine to five BS, you know, reducing pay, gossip, getting treated like a second class citizen. I'm over that. I'm over it. I know who I am. I am Ty Dent. I'm confident. I'm beautiful, I'm lovely, I'm a good person. I know who I am. I shouldn't be treated like a fucking bum or somebody that's just not worth the value. I know who I am. Do you know who you are? Because a lot of people don't. Figure out, if you're watching this, bro, I just, just, fuck. Just, just find out who you are. Stop worrying about people. Stop worrying about trends and trying to look popular and cool and trying to like just 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 none of that matters none of that matters think about in 10 years where do you want to be where are you going to be if you continue to do the same thing you're doing right now where are you going to be in 10 years if i continue to do what i'm doing for 10 years this right here it looks like it's going to be a pretty positive future but right now what are you doing other than watching this video after you watch this, after you close this video, and after you binge the channel, of course. But after you do all of that, what are you going to be doing? What are you going to be doing? And whatever you're doing in 10 years, is that going to be beneficial? I'm not saying you got to work 24-7 and you got to be, you know, draining yourself. But if at least 10 hours out of the week you're not doing something for yourself, then that means you're giving, I don't know, how many hours in a week? You're giving all your hours to everybody else. Why? Do you not love yourself enough? Do you not love yourself so much where you want to give all your hours to yourself, all your precious hard earned, not even hard earned, but just all your all your hours you can never just get back? Are you gonna really give that to somebody else, to people that don't care? I used to be that way. I used to be shy. I used to be unconfident. I used to think about, oh, what do they care? What do they think? Who cares? Because they don't care. They don't really care. I got, they all got, they got their own problems. They got my problems. We all got problems. Bills again, trying to get paid. People are losing things. Things happen. Nobody really cares. Focus on yourself. Get out of the nine to five. This is not okay. Like this video is really about me, but 
Hopefully, you if you got from this, you don't need to be there. You don't need to be a nine to five. However old you are, it don't matter. Get out of that shit. That shit is toxic. They can get rid of you. They don't care. And a lot of people are so happy with it. Not even, they're not happy. They say that, I, literally, it's a quote. Most people hate their jobs, but they go into work like it's a joke. Like, oh, yeah, man, we're just here, man. I hate Mondays. Ha, ha, ha. Like, this ain't no joke. This is life. Get out. Get out. Because you have the power.